So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the stripes, the grates here that are inside a shoe and uh, pop those out. And yeah, if you ever have to replace them, they're bent, broken. Um, in this case, I'm actually um, going to take the grates out of here and put them into another shoe. As you look closely here, you can see we got a little dinger here, a little crack right there in the shoe. So uh, stuff happens when you're out there jet boating, you're hitting rocks, boulders and that uh, occasionally and this one uh, got a good dinger. So um, yeah, I'm going to take the strakes out of that and here I have a brand new shoe. You can see, but no grates in it. So uh, yeah, we're going to pop the ones out of this one and put them into this one and we'll have a brand new shoe to uh, get back out there and uh, start jet boating again. So what we're going to do here is just take a punch and insert it here and just pound that pin out uh, on the other side. So fairly simple process. When we do that, you can see over here, there's the pin coming out this side. So yeah. Fairly simple. We'll pop these out and then the uh, the grates underneath are just held by a pin in there and you can see down at the bottom that pin runs the entire distance. So we'll pop those out and uh, let you see what it looks like. And yeah, we've already punched this one out far enough that you can see the grate is now loose on the one end. And there we go, there's our pin, and these grates should all just pop out. I don't know if it's stuck, but yeah, pin, and just slides through here, like this. So yeah, we'll take the bottom one off now, and uh, should be almost ready to go. So there's our grates, strakes, there's our two pins, and yeah, now uh, we will put the new uh, shoe on here, put these back into the replacement shoe, and we'll be good to go. can also um, take these off and bend them back into place, not sure if you can see this one, but uh, it's got a slight bend in it. So we'll put this in the vise, flatten it out, and put it back in. So if you got some... Uh, Grates there that you can't bend back into place um, while they're in the shoe. Yeah, simple process. Takes about five minutes to pop these out and uh, put them in the vise, uh, flatten them out. So I know there's a few other videos other people say to uh, take these grates and actually sharpen them for better uh, intake, better flow of water. But um, I usually refer to the Outboard Jet site and when you look at their site, it says to leave them as is. Do not take the ends here and file them down and uh, make them sharp um, according to them. I mean, they're kind of the experts in uh, outboard jet. So yeah, we're gonna leave these the same, just straighten them out and uh, yeah, they'll be good to go again. So he here's the, uh, the new shoe right here. You can see brand new, no marks on it. And we have our grates, our pins, our rods, and yeah, we're gonna pound these back in and uh, hopefully it should be uh, as good as new. And you'll notice that the grates here are actually, um, they're not universal. So if you look closely, you'll see one end is kind of oval and the other end is round. So when you put these in, the round end goes at the bottom and the oval end up at the top. So that's how you put the grates in. So we have the grates in, so yeah, pushed all the uh, pins in with the grates. There we go, looks pretty good. So yeah, that's basically how to uh, 
change the grates or take them out and uh, straighten them. You know, you can flatten them if you get some bends in them. Sometimes it's easier to take them out of here and then uh, straighten them in a vise as opposed to trying to straighten them on here on the river and that. So you can do a quick fix with a screwdriver or a wrench or something on the river. But um, yeah, basically just pop out these two pins and uh, all the grates will pop out, straighten them out, flatten them, do whatever you're going to do and uh, reverse procedure to put them back in. So hopefully you enjoyed this video.